Hey guys, welcome back to another Play With Me in my uh, TPC Nation planner. This is the Clive with Tipsy Dog Designs, and hello, who is she? I painted my nails. Yes, they look ratchet because I painted them myself. And um, I was just going to go with this color on all of them. And then my daughter, uh, Nora, decided she wanted to look well, she wanted to do it this way, and then she wanted me to j look just like her. I was only about one hand in of this, and then she wanted uh, this, like, mint blue on the other hand. So, that's what we went with, <laughs> just at her request. But, anyway, so that's my nail situation, and I am planning for the week of, what is this, June 27th through, what, July something? It's this weekend. Uh, third? Is it already the third? Anyway, um, we'll see you in a second. But I'm using this Avalon at Ninth kit. And kit is uh, pretty minimal in this case because I, for some reason, I only ordered this portion. I believe. I'm going to double check. Yeah, I need to double check that. But, okay. Yeah, that's all I have for that kit but that's okay because I have the headers I have kind of the main things I have my category stickers and then we will just fill in as we go so I have plenty I have I did pull my um my big binder over here of functionals and splashes and stuff like that so we will go to town because this is such a fun kit this is from Avalon and Ninth and it's like this like 90s vibes you know we got Garfield and My Little Pony, Lucky Charms. Like, this is fun. Fun colors and all of that stuff. So, I decided to go with that this week. I am gearing up towards TPC convention. And I'm getting so, so excited. Let's do this for dinner. This is my dinner category. But, yeah, I'm getting... Ah! That was not how that was supposed to go. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Much better. Anyway, I am gearing up for convention. I'm getting so excited because it's my first one ever. And it's just going to be so much fun. And my best friend's coming. Like, who doesn't love that? Let's see, we'll do this for reading. Because I end up watching TV a lot of times when I need to be reading. So I feel like that's appropriate. thing is I'm trying to get it like perfectly uh, that'll do but anyway so we again this week not a whole lot going on but we're kind of gearing up for the convention 4th of July all of those things um I am not really doing anything for 4th of July this year let's see family and home let's do I'll do this for family, or not family and home, it's uh, family and um, social media stuff. I'll do Garfield for that, that's funny. Actually, maybe I should do Garfield for family because Nora loves cats. I'm going to do that. But anyway, we are not really doing anything big for 4th of July because we have um I have convention the following weekend on the well we leave on the 7th so um next Wednesday is when Hannah comes in and then Thursday we leave for a convention we're gonna stop in Dollywood and I'm so freaking excited it's gonna be amazing and Let's see. I'm going to do... This isn't going to fit June and July. There we go. That works. Okay. So, this is Wonder Stickers Co., obviously. Let's do some date dots. So, anyway, um, like I was saying, this kit doesn't really, because I didn't, I don't know why I didn't order very much. I mean, I have to rely a lot on all the stuff that I have. So, 
we're just gonna go with that. So let's see, Monday the 27th. I guess the perk is that we get to keep the beautiful hand lettering from Tipsy Dog Designs. Okay, so we've got that covered. Let's do, let's go ahead and put in our categories and then we'll do headers. And then that way we can go ahead and fill in all the fun stuff. And so just sit back and relax and enjoy. Um, by the way, I am drinking some delicious white wine. And so pour whatever you like, sit back and relax, listen to some royalty free jams. And I will be laying this stuff down. If I think it's something interesting to talk about, I will let you know. Oh, actually, before you get to listen to um, anything fun. Let's see, this will be dumber. It's so cute. Before you get to listen to anything fun, I will tell you. Um, so, it's not for this week. So next week's plan with me will be a lot more exciting, but, um, next week when Hannah comes up, she's coming up on Wednesday and then on Thursday we have convention or I have, so I have a reservation at the hotel where the convention is and we will be, uh, we'll be staying there on Thursday night, Friday night and Saturday night. And so I have that all set up, but I went ahead and took off on Thursday and she's going to come to Dollywood with me and it's going to be so much fun. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. I think that'll be so awesome. So anyway, this is, I feel like this is kind of gearing up towards like all the fun times that I'm going to have with my bestie Hannah. We grew up together. We have like some crazy family history. I think this is probably more interesting than um, than royalty free music. Sorry, by the way, about my weird like rash thing going on. I don't know what that is. But anyway, this is probably more interesting than royalty free music. So here we are. But Hannah and I, we met. I don't think I've ever told the story of our friendship, so may as well. What better time than now? So, we met in, I think it was fourth grade, at Girl Scouts. And she, um, I don't know, like we became friends at Girl Scouts. And then somehow we found out that we had, like, some old family history. And... It turned out that she, so Hannah, it turned out Hannah's mom had gone, um, gone to this like little bitty school in the Mississippi Delta. If you know what the Delta is, you know, but she grew up in the, um, her mom grew up in the Mississippi, so Hannah's mom, her mom's Dawn, and so the, the joke is her name, we these are about Delta Dawn. But anyway, her mom's name is Dawn and her mom grew up in the Delta of Mississippi and that is where my dad also grew up and my grandfather was the principal of this tiny little school called Career Chula Academy and it has since been torn down, no longer exists anymore, but, um, but it's the school where my grandfather was the principal and it turned out we found out or i found out later or as when i met hannah that her grandfather was the one that like built the school he was the founder of the school so our grandfathers both knew each other very very well and then um our so her mom and my dad was one of four boys my dad is the the only one that's deceased of the four boys, but um, he passed in 2015 of cancer, and um, my dad was the second 
of the four. And so he, um, so his older, oh wait, that's purple. His, his older brother, he was a second, his older brother, and um, actually dated Hannah's mom, Dawn. And so we found that out later too, which was really fun. But like, anyway, we have all these crazy, like family history things from before we even knew each other. And then we found each other and became best friends. And actually like probably one of the, uh, so we, you know, like I said, we met a best friends at, um, at Girl Scouts, but in, what was it? Was that ninth grade? I think it was ninth grade. Ninth grade. Yeah, it was ninth grade because so her mom, Dawn, used to used to always do the the uh, Europe trips for the juniors and seniors of the local high schools. Mostly, it started as kind of a thing for the public high schools, and uh, anyway, she because she was the she was the science or like science biology all of that teacher, so. Anyway, she loved traveling. She um, she had some really good connections with a great like tour group or like touring company in Europe, and so she would host like I don't know fifty kids, and she would get a bunch of chaperones and stuff like that. And it was usually a, a two week trip through Europe, and it was absolutely amazing. Like I remember, it was kind of like a rite of passage that you got to go on this trip. And so when I was 14 or 15, I guess, um, Dawn said, I don't really want to do this anymore. Like, I've been doing this for a long, long time. Like, I think this will be my last year. And, spoiler alert, she's still going. They just went this year. So it wasn't her last year. <laughs> but she said, it, you know, I think this is going to be my last year. So she told Hannah if you want to, like, Hannah said, I really want to go if this is going to be your last year. But, but we were only, like, 14, 15. We were, we were, uh, freshmen in high school. We were just starting freshmen. And she, she was, like, you know, typically our group, or like, our age wasn't able to go. And so she told Hannah, okay, I'll let you go if you bring, Hannah, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or something. But she told me, like, you know, uh, you can bring somebody if, um, if you can find somebody whose parents will, like, agree to let them go to Europe at the age of 15, then, then sure, you can bring somebody. And so, I don't know what it is, but Hannah asked me, and when I asked my mom, she was like, she was like, Europe? That sounds like so much fun. And she was super on board, which is probably crazy and weird. Like, I went to, I had been to more countries than my mom had at that point. Now, she has definitely laughed at me in the stamps on the passport department. But, um, but anyway, at that point in time, she really hadn't been anywhere. But she was super encouraging of travel, which I'm so thankful for to have a mom that's like that. She's always been like that. In fact, she took me when I was 18 for my graduation from high school. She took me to Germany. Like, she's just, she's awesome. Anyway, so I digress. I don't think Dawn really expected anybody to, <laughs> or Hannah to be able to find anybody that had a mom that was, like, cool to let their kid go to Europe for a couple of weeks. And my mom was down for it. So that... That whole trip really sealed the deal for us, and it was it was just amazing. Like your first trip to Europe, you're not gonna forget that. And so Hannah was my my roommate like the entire time, and because we were we were the two youngest there, but it was amazing. Like we had oh we had so much fun. We were hanging out with all these juniors and seniors, so we felt like we were super cool, and it just it was so much fun. And we went to some really neat places, too, and saw some fun things. So, anyway, 
I'm so excited because Hannah and I haven't gotten to really travel by ourselves a whole lot. Really, in a long, long, long time. Because, you know, I'm married now. It's been, like, I've been married for eight years. And I uh, have two kids. And, like, it's just, usually when I travel, I'm traveling with family. And so, when she comes up next week, I'm... I'm just gonna lose my mind. I'm so excited. Like, I haven't, yeah, I haven't gotten to travel with anybody. So, I'm so excited. I'm gonna take off the day. So, we have, I have to be up there. I don't know if I've mentioned this. Um, I have to be up there on Friday for, no, yeah, Friday morning for a convention to like help set up. I'm volunteering. So, I'm gonna help with that. And then, um, so, because of that, I, wanna, I have a hotel room on Thursday night, and Hannah's coming on Wednesday, so I'm going to pick Hannah up from the airport, and then I'm taking off on Thursday. We're going to wake up at the booty crack of dawn and head up to Erlanger, but, which is Erlanger, Kentucky, which is the Cincinnati airport, where the... Um, convention is and I'm super excited but it's funny so like that's about five hours from where I live and so um halfway to the there is Dollywood and we are season pass holders because we love going there we love taking the kids it's like a pretty quick easy getaway you know, like we can go get away, and I think if you if you have season tickets, it pretty much pays for itself, like in two visits, and also that like for Tennessee residents, if the the kid is there's like a preschool pass which is free, so my son is still qualifies still qualifies for that. We have to pay like the child fee or whatever for. Um, my daughter Nora, who begins kindergarten this year, but we don't uh, we don't have to pay for him. He's free through the uh, the like preschool imagination grants or something. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you haven't looked up anything about what Dolly Parton has done, it's freaking amazing. She is so fabulous, and if you haven't, well, I don't know. I need to put a see if I can put some highlights, but I got to see her in the flesh, in the plastic and flesh. Um, this, uh, this past weekend, we went up to Dollywood, and when we were on the little tram that takes you from your, uh, from the parking lot, to, from your car to the park, on the tram, the, um, the little announcer person said, by the way, be on the lookout because Dolly's on the park today. Like, Dolly's on the park today. She's here. So, keep a lookout. So, I was like, and, and they told us, you know, she's going to be doing, she'll be part of the parade at 4.30 and then I think she was part of something else that was much, much later than, you know, we were going to stay out with two kids that are five and under. But, um, but I was like, okay, well, it'd be really nice to stay till four. But if it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world either. And, uh, and, and, and it, it just ended up that we were kind of hanging around. We, we were there around like three o'clock or something, eating ice cream and kind of thinking about leaving. But then we saw all the people like lining up and people were getting like, little fans it said I Heart Dolly and little pom poms I mean like they were making a big deal about this parade uh cheers yay there it is anyway so they were making a big deal about this parade I'm not gonna use I don't think any of these yet so I'm just gonna put this off to the side I don't think I have anything I wanna put in threes for right now um let's see let me pull out my functionals and I will put in I think all the things I have okay so nothing's going on this weekend honestly 
I think the only thing that's going on this week is maybe like my therapy. I don't think I have really anything. So I'm filming this, by the way. I don't know if I would mention this. I'm filming this on Monday. So it's kind of hard to like put anything because all of this is after the fact. So yeah, I might actually just leave it the leave it at this. Sorry if that's disappointing, but I don't really have anything to put in here yet because I know this weekend we're just staying in town. So again, I use this as a habit tracker most of the time anyway. But the one thing I do put in is like anything going on in the family for the week, and there's nothing that really is going on this week so I have a few like work things but that's not something I put in here on the family stuff most of this is just tracking like when I post something on my Instagram or like what I'm gonna read which is I need to read my book club book tonight um I do need to track my dinner which was just um just um uh just like a sandwich and then I did laundry so I'll track that, but, but like, I don't really need all three of these to track that. So anyway, um, but back to the story, I guess. So I got to, um, we all lined up at about three thirty or so as we finished our ice cream, all got to line up. And then we were like, at this point it was scorching hot, but everybody was so excited to see Dolly Parton nobody really cared and she looked fabulous I will pop up a picture here because yeah it's it's worth it to just see my hands for this part but she looked fabulous she's so tiny and I felt like she looked like right at me and I just vibed with her (laughs) it was amazing like everyone was so hot but no one cared because everybody was so excited to see Dolly so she did not disappoint she was just so cute in her little carriage and it was a great weekend. So anyway, I'm I'm looking forward to this week to come. I'm invigorated and I had a really good week last week, except for Friday and then the weekend because of all the crazy news that came out. But other than that, everything was everything was good. The weekend was nice and refreshing. And so um I'm looking forward to this week. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple right now and leave it where it is because, you know, I'm just gonna use what I have for the kit and I'll fill it in and I'll update you on how the, uh, the ending spread turns out, but I will show you real quick. A little sneak peek. I still have to finish filling this in, but yeah, I saw Dolly. Oh my gosh. It was so much fun. This is my Shits Creek spread from last week. So there's that, but and then there's this week. So like I said, I use this for tracking. That's probably what it's going to be. But I love how this looks, like the 90s vibes, the colors, so much fun. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, all those things. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!